Hey guys, Zarya here, and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Let's put this in here. As you guys know, summer is finally here, and today, as you can tell from the title, I am going to be telling you 120 plus things that you can do during the summer. And I'm not saying you have to do all of these things, but I'm just giving you some ideas if you're kind of bored. Now, it's not 120, it's 120 plus, so I just added a few in there because I had a few more ideas that you guys could do. When I was making this list, I took into consideration of people with a lot of friends and people with no friends. Whichever category you're in, you can find something in this video. As you can tell from behind me right now, I have one of my merchandise, Zarya's World mug. It's, I love this mug. The one that you can get does not have the videos and more under it, and instead it has the website. I can put it right here for you. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video that I ever post. Without further ado, Let's hop in to the video. So the first thing that I think that you can do is have a picnic. I really think that this is nice to go to a little park. Um, start a YouTube channel. This is a great time to do it because a lot of people are at home and just watching shows and stuff like that. Go swimming. Uh, this could be in a lake, a pond, like, well, not a pond, but a lake, a pool. <laughs> Finish a long anime. Uh, if you guys like anime, like me, myself, uh, you can finish a long one. I'm gonna try and finish. Naruto, because <laughs> I've been watching it forever. <laughs> our new skill, this is the perfect time to, since we have a lot of time on our hands during the summer. Popping fireworks, this is more of 4th of July, so make sure you do that, because that is very fun, unless it's illegal where you are. You can start developing new healthy habits, like um, drinking water the first thing in the morning. Sleepovers, uh, make a sheen cart. Notice how I said make and not make and buy. You don't have to buy it. I, to me, it's just fun shopping and not getting anything. Berry picking. I have never done that, but I've seen a lot of other people do it and it seems very fun. Zip lining. Going to a water park is like swimming on steroids. I feel like a water park is very, very fun, especially for the summertime because that's really the only time you get to do it. Going to the amusement park slash fair. Flying a kite successfully <laughs> because you can fly a kite and it can go straight into a tree and it's pretty windy outside sometimes in summer so i feel like that'd be nice going to the park if your town has this a drive-in movie theater i don't know if ours does i'll look i'll look more into that but a drive-in movie theater just sounds very fun you can have a photo shoot with your friends you can play with sidewalk chalk you can make s'mores go camping do a no electronics day get your mind out of society and just live in the moment. Easier said than done for some. <laughs> Go to a party, have a shopping spree. Um, I mentioned making a sheen cart and not buying anything, but if you actually wanna buy something, well, go ahead. A seafood boil. I love seafood boils and I love seafood in general, so I definitely recommend this one. A day downtown in whatever town you may be in. Throwing a party. Um, you can go to the zoo if you like zoos. You can write a poem. I love writing poems. I made one myself actually that I'm very proud of. I'll either Put a picture right here of it and you can just pause it to read it. Stargazing, eating ice cream, making lemonade. Lemonade is a classic summer drink, so go ahead and make some. You can make popsicles, throw water balloons. You can get snow cones or make them. Prank call people or places, but if you get in trouble, it's not my fault. <laughs> watch clouds. You can download the app uh, Skyview so that when you're stargazing or when you're just looking at, up at the sky, you can use your phone to look at where different planets are, where different constellations are. There's a lot that you can do and it's free if you don't want the extra bonuses, but I don't pay for it and I still like everything about it. You can have a pillow fight, you can build a blanket or pillow fort, ride bikes, paint rocks, have a barbecue. You can start a new collection. Uh, just collect anything. Raise money. Start a GoFundMe if you need money. You can have a spa day, tie-dye t-shirts, play in sprinklers, catch fireflies, rearrange your room, go swimming at night. I love swimming at night. Something about it is just very nice. Going kayaking. You can dance in the rain. Technically I've already done this um, except I was chasing Zeus in the rain so I don't really know if that would count. <laughs> 
You can volunteer somewhere. You can make a summer playlist. You can have a late night photo shoot. You can just ride around town if you have a driver's license. <laughs> you can wash a car. Um, personally, I, I have never done this before, but when I see people do it, it seems like they have a lot of fun, so looks fun you should do it <laughs> you can get a henna tattoo i love henna tattoos and i feel like both male and female can get these so just go for a henna tattoo you can pull an all-nighter with your friends you can play card games you can play horror games online typically i do this but i do it with my friends because it's not really the same it's not that exciting when you just do it alone <laughs> you can just meet new people this summer i feel like there'll be a lot of chances read a new book I will not be doing this. I hate reading, but you might like to read. You can visit a waterfall if where you live or where you're around has any. Eat funnel cake. I love funnel cake. And you can make it and eat it. Making funnel cake is really easy. It's basically just fried pancake batter. You can pay for the order behind you. Uh, this was a huge trend, but I feel like it's a great act of kindness for the community and you will feel good after it. You can go to a hot spring. Have a day where you just spoil your dog. <laughs> Have a paintball fight with your friends. Go through your whole closet and donate what you don't wear. <laughs> go to the beach. You can make acai bowls. They're very nice. See what they look like. <laughs> you can go to a dog park if you have a dog. I don't really know why you would go if you don't, <laughs> but go for it. You can thrift an outfit. You can have a backyard slip and slide. Travel to another state. Burn your schoolwork, <laughs> a day adventure, a water gun fight, a 5, 10, 15 dollar challenge. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a way to save money. Here's what it is right here. Play hide and seek. <laughs> Doesn't matter how old you are, you can still play hide and seek. Oops, I keep on knocking my camera. You can go to a sunflower field. You can go face painting. You can go tubing. Paint cheap shoes. I really want to do this so bad because it seems so fun. No one will have the shoes that you make. <laughs> Taste wonderful. Of course, only because it's coming from the Zarya's World mug. You can make jewelry with your friends or without. This could be earrings, bracelets, necklaces, uh, little bead thingies, anything. You can sell things around your house that you don't use. Um, I forget what it's called, but I don't think it's called a yard sale or a garage sale because it's not coming from just your yard or your garage, but a house sale, just have a house sale. You can sleep on a trampoline. The only thing that I say about that is that I've tried it before and don't do it on a humid night because it is not that fun at all. And also have bug spray. You can eat slushies, go jet skiing, have a road trip, take pictures with a Polaroid camera. It looks very aesthetic when you put them all together from different times of your summer. You can start meditating, uh, clear your mind and things of that nature. Blow up a pool in your backyard if you don't already have one. You can tan if you think you need one. You can go to an arcade. Okay, this one's very simple, but going to Target with your friends. Me and my people have gone to Target and it's very hilarious. I don't know, it's, it's Target, but it's just so fun. Relax and don't stress, it's summertime. Try an escape room. Try a self-defense class. You can do morning walks. You can go to a cabin. You can binge watch a TV series. Go to a basketball game. Blast music growing plants currently i'm growing three you can host a party you can bake a cake or just have a baking day in general it seems very fun you can film a vlog and post it on youtube or just have it for yourself <laughs> playing with glow sticks is very fun you can learn a new language i feel like learning a new language is pretty nice you start to learn more about your own language when you start to learn another language it's very cool currently i'm learning japanese but i know a little bit of french and the bare minimum of spanish <laughs> Ooh, I really want to do this. You can bury a time capsule. And like, imagine if someone were to find it, like it'd be so cool for them. And time capsules last a long time until someone finds it. And it's like, oh my God. I know if I found one, I'd be really happy about that. So be on the other end of it. Climbing a tree, deep frying Oreos. You can go to an art show, make pizza. Making a pizza is just very fun in general. You can make sushi. I never made sushi before, but I really want to. It just seems so fun. Oh yes, I have. I did it at Camp Master Chef. But yeah, making sushi is very, very fun. You can go to a park. You can make candy apples. You can blow bubbles. Eating a giant sandwich, like a nice giant foot long times like three and oh, very nice. You can have a potluck with your friends or family or whatever. 
You can try a YouTube challenge, like a 30 day workout challenge. You can dye your hair, go summer shopping. By this I mean like um, go to a store and like just put a whole bunch of summer accessories and sleeping in a hammock, buying fresh lemons at like a lemon market or something like that or a fruit market. And lastly, you can change your wallpaper. Well guys, that is it for my 120 plus things that you can do this summer. I really enjoyed making this list and it was very fun. Really got me into the summer, summer mood and I hope this video did do the same for you as well. If you're new here, my name is Aria and this is Aria's World, my YouTube channel. I now have merchandise, um, which is very nice. I not only this mug, but I think I showed you earlier on in the video, but I'll show you again. Here are my shirts and here are my hoodies. Um, so I'm very proud of those things. My size are as low as small and go all the way up to 3XL. So I'm sure anybody can wear my merch. Give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video that I ever post. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh, oh. Oh, that was not planned. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try that again. <laughs> you know, this Zarya's World mug, everything really just tastes better in it. I have to say, and I mean, you can start off your day tasting what tastes like heaven. <laughs> Here's Zeus. Last time you guys saw him, he was very small. Now he's all big and stuff. You think you're grown, Zeus? You know what? Forget you then. I don't get to have a bad sleep schedule during school, so I have it during summer instead. <laughs> That's a tradition for me. You know what? Don't listen to me when it comes to that stuff.